And today we're testing the Fenty Stunna Lip Pin against the Baconator. <laughs> Melissa's an actress. Uh, yeah, you could you could say that. So the, <laughs> I'm an actor in Los Angeles. Actor, yes. Ooh. Actress. Wait, is actress not a thing that the people say anymore? People say it sometimes. But is no. it like a bad thing to say? No, I don't think so. Okay, thank okay. God. So as I said before, we're gonna be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored, which is the only color they have. It is the only color. The lipstick's supposed to be a universal yeah, tone. Yeah, which yes. I'm kind of interested to find out if it is. But you know, I think. It's twenty four dollars. Really? Yeah. That's not honestly that. That's like a pretty good price for like. I don't a lip. know. I don't know. It's, I mean, it is beautiful though. It's like a little piece of art. It is so you know? nice. I really feel like so Rihanna nice. really put a lot of her heart and soul into this makeup line. She you know? had to. Yeah. Not to mention names, but like other celebrities with makeup lines. You know, Dish. maybe they just do it Dish. for the money. Where Rihanna did it for like the art and like her passion. You know. I know, and it's really funny that you're here today because your Instagram name is Sad Girl Riri, and the Queen yes. Bix yourself is Bad Girl Riri. Do people you message you all the time asking for your username? Yes, all the time, <laughs> and that are like, your handle is so amazing. Like, will you give it to me? Like, I'll buy it from you. And I'm like, nope, it's mine. We and like, so you did this so yeah. long ago. I know, it's like, I only have like 400 followers. So <laughs> hit me up. It is such a good handle. Thank you. Uh, honestly, I feel like Rihanna, she is a little bit of inspiration. You no, know? she is. I yeah. love her. I, I like, sometimes pray to her. Really? <laughs> I like the wee wand. Here's the wee wand. <laughs> It's gorgeous. It's got like a really interesting shape too. Yeah. You know, is it supposed to be lip shaped? Because it kind of has like a groove, you yeah. know? Yeah. It really it looks it. Really concentrated. Wow, that is, wow. That is a great color. Dude, I look like pop art. Wow, you kind of <laughs> do. Call me a makeup artist. It looks really moisturizing too. Okay, hi again. I don't know how I feel about this. It's very, very red. I look like Snow White. You do kind of have this like princess vibe. No, I was trying to be like a little aristocrat, the little kittens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's drying nicely, but it is kind of like. Is it still on my tooth? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see how bad it is, dude? <laughs> oh my. Oh, I just rubbed it onto another tooth. But oh well, it looks fierce. Okay. Your turn, girl! <laughs> I am really bad at this, so we'll see. Oh my god. Whoa, that, this is so nice on you! Oh my god. Uh, okay. That's dude, like as good as it's gonna get, I think. It's kind of uneven. It's really good, though! No, it's okay. It's It, it looks... I think it looks good. I think it looks pretty even. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your initial thoughts about this lipstick? Mm, it's definitely like for a professional, more profesh makeup yeah, yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not foolproof, you know? Yeah, like yeah. it's not just kind of like, oh, slap it on there and go. Yeah. Like, you like, need like a steady hand precision. Like, I definitely feel like I'm wearing something. Yeah. But it's, like, it's, it. like, it's like, yeah, I do. It's kind of like, you know, I would wear it to like prom or something. Yeah. <laughs> like a, a real event, you know? Not like an everyday kind of. I know, and I wish it was in my everyday. Like I walked up everywhere with this choker on and was like, unless you're like super bold, then go for it. This is like a rock star. I it think is. it probably is really nice on a lot of skin tones. It is. Yes, I think it looks good on your skin tone. Yeah. It kind of dried a little bit darker too. I feel you know? like it did too. It looks really. I feel like yeah. it looks brighter on you. So now we have the lipstick on. We gotta introduce the burger. So this week's burger is the Baconator. <laughs> a personal childhood favorite of mine. Yeah, you said this is the one you wanted in the drive-thru line. Honestly, this is, what we got. this is like one of those iconic, like terrible burgers. Yeah, dude, this is really gross looking. <laughs> it, it looks like a sunburned man's like bald head or something, the bun. Like it's, why is it so wrinkly? It's really wrinkly. I feel like in California, Wendy's is like n not the best, you know, cause you have In-N-Out. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. have so many burgers. But on the East Coast, Wendy's is like top tier burgers. You That's know? so true. But the Baconator was like a special, a special burger. Yeah. That would only come out. I've never had it. Really? Uh-uh. Well. I kind of don't really like bacon on burgers. Oh, what? 
We're gonna test to see if this lipstick is burger proof. Yes. Um, if this burger's good. All right. There's Anyways, like, hit the I nails. don't know if you see this, but there's like multiple layers of bacon going on here. Like in between the two patties, there's bacon. There's bacon on top. There's dude. That's there's just, just, just <laughs> bacon all throughout this this thing. Okay, here we go. You know, it's just like I remember it. Terrible. Honestly, it like triggers something in me. <laughs> it was like not that bad. So it triggers a happy. Tri yeah, like a, a joyous feeling inside Aww. of me. I don't have that at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Your lipstick is already on your chin. It is. <laughs> See, getting... there is a lipstick. Spreading on your burger. On the burger, yeah. Lipstick on your burger. <laughs> Told a tale on you. That's my granny's favorite song. Is it? Uh -huh. It's a real song, Lipstick on Your Burger. No. <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot of flavor to it, though. You have to admit that. It does have a lot of flavor, you know? A lot of. I don't know, it's dude. It's not like a bland burger. I think it's pretty bland. You've hardly even eaten yours. I'm the one. That just likes it, and I'm almost done. That's true. But I have to eat the whole thing because mm. I gotta find out about the lipstick. Okay. Because Rihanna deserves to know. This one's for you, Riri. Yeah, smudging. Mine's holding up pretty well, too. Yeah. It just tastes terrible. Oh, I don't know. It just tastes so. Oh, it's very cheesy. So cheesy. Oh, man, that last bite, it was very cold. The last bite was terrible. <laughs> I actually am like embarrassed that I ate that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm kind of proud. It's like, you know, I'm one of the boys. It's kind of the worst thing that I've eaten in a really long time. It's something I've experienced. I now I know about it. And when we were in the drive-thru line, you said, the bacon eater. Yes, so. I did. I feel like it's the most iconic Wendy's yeah, burger. Because I mean, like, what is the regular burger even called? Well, here we are. Half a burger deep and a little bit fuller little in bit. our stomachs and our hearts. <laughs> yeah. And a little sadder, honestly, too. Yeah. Anyways, let's review how well our lipstick is holding up. I think mine stayed pretty well as well, except for it smudged on my chin a little bit and like yeah. it's been really hard to get off. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's still <laughs> really there. It's really red. I just don't think it's like touch proof. Yeah, I mean, like what's the transfer proof. like? There is quite a bit yeah. of transfer. I am really enjoying how this is wearing. I actually am shook that it's still on my tiny little lips. It has a bleed though. No, you see it that? Does a little it? bit of a bleed. Oh yeah, it does have a little bit of a bleed. Would you wear this again? I think I would wear it again because a little bit transferred on off onto the burger. It doesn't feel as dry anymore. Yeah, you know? I agree. It kind of does feel like nothing's on there. Yeah. Or maybe it was like the grease from the burger. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you rate the Fenty between one and ten? Probably an eight. Eight and a half. Okay, yeah. why? For color, definitely. Uh, for being burger proof and staying powder. I had to take a few points off for the smudging, you know, and like the difficult application. If you can master, you know, like the straight line, definitely worth it because it is a statement. I think so. Yeah. I think I'm gonna say an eight and a half too. Yeah. I don't think, cause I'm between eight and nine on the burger. Yeah. What would you rate it? Oh, I hate to say it because you know it's the baconator, but three. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was a bit high, to be honest. Yeah, no, I would give it a two. Overall, the baconator from Wendy's was not burger proof approved. No, definitely not burger proof approved. What about the lipstick? Do you think it's burger proof? Uh, I'm gonna have to say that the Fenty Beauty is burger proof. I'm gonna have to say it's burger proof too, and I didn't think it would be on my tiny little lip, but Rihanna, you did it, girl. She really did cater to everyone. She did a great job. Yeah. All skin tones. All skin tones. Tiny lips. Tiny lips. It's oh, a little, little bit of bleed, little but little it's bleed okay. Well, thanks Rihanna. Invite me to your next birthday party, okay? <laughs> but at least now we know the baking eater sucks, but the Fenty Lip Stunner Pin is. Thanks for watching Burger Proof. Don't forget to comment and like. And subscribe for bi-monthly videos. Let us know in the comments which burger we should do next. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>